let's check it out let's check it out Boop. there we are there we are awesome hi gang this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream where we are live streaming on twitch and we're live streaming on rumble and rumble live stream should be kicking in soon and there we are very nice very nice uh excellent so we're live streaming on uh, two different platforms hopefully we'll be adding more in the future and uh for this stream we are doing comic book readings we're back in the comic book reading area and uh we're gonna do some uh sweet readings some uh fun readings couple of fun readings uh very cute readings okay we're gonna be reading an independent comic uh, by Michael Foran. I couldn't find too much about this artist or this company. Uh, they haven't been around for, uh, they from 1999 to 2005, they published like a handful of comic books. Okay, and this is a silent comic, silent issue, no words in it. And I found it very cute. And this is one of the comic books, uh, one of the, few hundred comic books I ended up buying a couple of years ago from this comic book store a local comic book store that was dumping a whole bunch of his comics and he was selling them for 25 cents a pop so I bought all of these comics for 25 cents a pop and, and I've been going through them uh, for the last year and a half or so year and a half and one of the other comics I picked up uh, 25 cent comics I picked up was manga people have asked me to read some manga I figured uh, we read this one, Lum, uh, by, I gotta look up the name, Rukio Takahashi, Rukio Takahashi. And she's, from what I understand, one of the most popular manga artists and the wealthiest manga artist in Japan. Uh, so pretty cool. And I found this, um, I've read other stuff uh, from her. I have some of the other uh, titles as well. I got ramana half and uh, mermaids um, tales and a couple of other ones that are just buried i tried finding them and i couldn't find them uh so um what do you call it uh, decided to go with this one one reason i decided to go with this one is because i read this one recently and i found it really cute i had a couple of places where i was laughing a little bit uh so i thought uh, take away from the heaviness of a lot of the well, recent live streams we haven't done too much heavy we've done uh, uh, cooking stream and just chilling on the patio and stuff lark bark how are you doing hey hey you all in chicho what's up my man i love me some comic books indeed indeed two comic book readings today i have other i brought other ones here to you know if people are interested to see what manga i've been reading um recently anyway um because of a you know people keep on asking me on uh sensor to one on other platforms different places if i read manga and my reply is usually I, i've read some i haven't you know full series i've read akira i've read uh tekken tekirin i've read uh, uh ba, 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 the, oh, what are the full series have i read um i've read another full series i can't remember which one it is now and I've read some runs of some of the other ones and some random comics and whatnot. Uh, so I thought it was time for us to do a manga reading. Maybe we'll do more uh, in the coming reading sessions as well. Uh, but fun stuff. Good Sunday uh, reading session. Um, and I don't know if notifications have gone out. Um, and I just figured out, by the way, on Rumble, uh, I've been... Uh, uh, I'm enjoying the rainy weather today. Are you? Nice, nice. Here it's been uh, smoky um, in the West Coast because of the fires and stuff. But it's been very hot, um, very dry. Um, if you're growing plants, it's fantastic. You, uh, what do you call it? Um, if you, as long as you, you can water the plants, uh, they're loving the sunshine. I know our ca cannabis plant, tomato plant uh basil has been loving it uh we've been getting cucumbers and whatnot but i know a lot of places uh, are not enjoying the heat because poor forest management and other factors in play uh, are burning people out 
Lark Bark, yeah, it's been too hot and dry, too hot and dry. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind a little bit of rain. Um, that being said, I'm enjoying the hot weather a lot, a lot. Uh, but I think people need uh, need a little bit of the rain. Um, but just a little note regarding uh, live streaming on Rumble. What I was doing before was uh, when I was setting up the live stream, I kept on saying that I was live streaming as myself. And I assumed I was going on my main channel, uh, live stream, uh, a Rumble channel, uh, on my Rumble channel. But it wasn't. It was creating a new... Uh, it was live streaming I'm not sure under my account or something so it wasn't going under Chicho and I just did the setting right now and it is now live streaming on my Chicho channel okay uh, so apologies for people who were trying to track me down on uh, on Chicho for a live stream if you weren't able to catch it it was just a setting that I was missing right and uh, I'm not sure if notifications have gone out I doubt it because we got three people here. One of them is me, one of them is you, Lark Park, and another one is a lurker, most likely. <laughs> Jake Powell's in town. That's the third one. Happy Sunday, Chicho and all. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Oh, fun, fun. Twitch went, tw uh, Twitch went out. Okay, okay. So Twitch just went out. Oh, okay. I've seen uh, slowly probably numbers going to go up. Uh, but we're going to wait until... Um, uh, if, if they go up. If not, we're going to wait around 10 minutes. And then we're going to do the read okay uh while we're waiting uh intro intro wise i'm on patreon substack subscribe star um i thought twitch is having technical issues i think a lot of people uh, places are having technical issues and uh, according to uh, some of the fun uh, sort of theories and rabbit holes you can go down uh, mountain dew is predicting pitch black <laughs> It's a bit twitchy, it's a bit twitchy, it's a bit twitchy. Uh, gang, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. You can follow the work there. Uh, we are live streaming on Rumble and on Twitch. On Twitch and on Rumble over here, right? Uh, so you can watch the live streams there. Uh, we're going to live stream everything on Rumble the way we do on Twitch and hopefully add more. Uh, this full live stream, because it's a comic book reading, we're not going to go down too many rabbit holes. We're going to do fun, chill readings, right? Happy readings, cute readings. Uh, today, uh, definitely we're going to load up the whoop, live stream word button. <laughs> live stream to censor to, and definitely it'll go, everything goes on BitChute uh, and Odyssey as well. Okay, we do have a guild server. You're definitely welcome to join us there. And... If you've been around, you know I go through this little intro. And if you want to enjoy the comic book reads, uh, maybe go get yourself a drink, go get yourself a snack, uh, kick back, and uh, enjoy the reading. Uh, you got about five more minutes before we get into it, right? <laughs> or get yourself a nice cold one, right? Again, uh, we do have a SoundCloud page for podcasts. Uh, been lazy on it. We will load it on. Uh, get on that hopefully in the fall. Uh, we do announce on uh, Twitter, Minds, VK, Gab, SoundCloud Notes, and Getter. I'll bring up the other uh, logos on there as well when I get the chance. Okay. And as always, for those of you supporting this work on all these platforms and more, salut gang. Water is good. Water is good. Let me take these guys down. And right. Let's see. Let's see where we are on. Oh, we're off to five. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh, we got three on Rumble. Oh wow. <laughs> Hello, people watching on Rumble. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be. Uh, even though I live streamed. Uh, I think like four times now on Rumble. Uh, I forgot to set the setting that it was going to my Chicho channel. So I was uh, live streaming on there. I guess I don't know what I was live streaming on there. But the, the live streams are there. They will be uploaded. Um, but this is officially our first live stream on our actual Twitch channel. Which is sort of cool. 
which is sort of cool. Uh, lark bark. I'm having myself uh, key lime flavored water. Nice. The best and which is delicious. Key lime flavored. Oh, look God, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Key lime, key lime. I know key lime. What do I, where do I know key lime from? Ice cream or something? Music? That sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> sounds delicious so here while uh, while we're waiting for notifications to go out and people to roll in slowly for those of you that are here the two comic books we're going to read today one of them is this one rover by michael foram from uh, monkey monkey suit press uh, so independent publisher this came out in 2002 or 2003. The, I couldn't find, I couldn't find anything about Michael Forum. Not even on Comic Vine, uh, some of the other main comic book uh, websites I go to. Uh, but the only thing I found, I'm assuming, this uh, Monkey Press, Monkey Monkey Suit Press is his company, and they put out like about well, five, six different comics. Um, under this name okay uh, under this um, publisher uh, brand uh, from 1999 to 2005 and most a lot of those were reprints as well uh, Lark by key lime flavor water is delicious it's like having a, a clean sprite ah okay cool 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 so bubbly sweet no would you would, would is this pop is a pop is a sweet so we're going to read this. This is a silent issue. No words. Super cute. I liked it. Good storytelling with just visuals. And we're going to read Lum number one by Romiko Takahashi. Okay. For one understand, the best known and wealthiest uh, manga artist in Japan. And this character uh, was introduced in the 1970s uh, under Yurusi Yatosura. <laughs> That's the manga that it was released under. Let me see if I've got that right. <laughs> Where are we? Yeah, Yurusi Yatosura. Yurusi Yatosura is the main uh, antagonist, protagonist, uh, the way you want to think about it. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe we do the silent reading first it's it's, it's it's a quicker read and this one's super cute as well there's a couple of places where there's a little bit of skin showing so i have to go through and put on a little bit of uh stickies on there so we don't get zapped for uh, cute anime nudity <laughs> right <laughs> aside from that gang uh, what are we in? We're in. We're 15 minutes in. Let's do the reading. Let's do the reading. We want to get into the readings, gang. We want to get into the readings. Uh, so, I say we read the silent one first. Should we do the silent one? Let's do the silent one. I'm going to set us up. Okay. We got the angle set. Um, and it should be a fun read. I was hoping Crack would be here because Crack is one of the people that follows us and for the comic book stuff to tell us if he knows anything more about michael foran um and there was only two issues of this comic and this is number two okay so gang i'm going to turn off chat uh, i'll keep my eyes on chat so you're definitely welcome to comment uh and stuff like this and hopefully i won't get confused uh reading people's comments and stuff for the first one it's just going to be imagery so i don't have to barely have to do any reading I will try to message him. Okay, Elder God. Yeah, it, that, no, no, no worries, Elder God. Uh, later on, when we upload the video, uh, maybe he'll comment if he knows anything. If he doesn't, I'll contact him after the video is loaded up. Say, hey, crack, do you know anything about this dude? Okay, I'm going to take out notifications. I'm going to take down the chat. And I'm going to change our angle. Okay. So we're going to read lum in the next reading we're going to read this guy okay and again i'm just going to do a little intro 
on this. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book live stream. We're doing a live stream right now. It's August 20th, I believe, Sunday. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, a couple of readings. And uh, I picked out these readings because they were uh, uh, cute. Uh, they're fun reads. And the first one we're going to do is a silent issue. And this is one of the comic books I picked up um, a year and a half ago, a couple of years ago, from a comic book uh, retailer in town that was dumping like a ton of comics uh, for 25 cents a pop. So I picked up this comic for 25 cents and um, it was in the boxes. I picked up a few hundred boxes uh, of comics that I picked up and I ended up reading this like a few days ago and uh, I thought it was a super cute read, very well done artistically. Because it's a silent issue, the imagery really has to tell you the story and it does a fantastic job telling the story. Now, this is it put out by an independent publisher called here, let me take this out of the back so we don't get the glow out of it or on it. Okay. This is an independent publisher called, whoop, let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Their logo is pretty cute. Uh, Monkey Suit Press, right? And they put out a, um, a graphic novel of this character of this or of this comic book. I think it's the first one they put out and this is issue number two and it's called rover by michael foran right foran and i really couldn't find anything on him uh, personally um monkey suit press the first comic they put out was in 1999 and uh it was literally um ba -ba -ba -ba, monkey suit trade paperback i don't know there's five issues in it i don't know what's there uh aside from that they put out uh, a handful of comics from 1999 with monkey monkey press monkey suit trade paperback and then they had a uh, big problem with marshall in 2002 adventures of maya in 2003 2004 and then they had rex Steele, nazi smasher uh, graphic novel in 2004 and then rover from 2002 uh, to 2003 with issue number one and two and then survival machine trade paperback came out in 2003 those are the only issues comics that i know that they've put out okay so that's what we know of this and one thing i uh, i liked is that the back cover there was a bunch of reviews that was were put out by different people saying you know um, the artwork is really good it's a silent comic telling a story without words is really interesting so that really intrigued me I was looking forward to reading this and I was very ple pleasantly supply uh, surprised okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read this little bit to give you a little intro to this i believe uh, yeah i'm gonna read this little bit uh and these are the three main characters that we're gonna come across in this title rover is the main character and then we got zep is his best friend and supposedly i'm assuming in issue number one we figured out that fub was sort of adversary of rover but that doesn't really come across uh, we don't know what the story is uh, of that part okay now as far as the intro to this issue goes follow rover down into the dark caverns to help him save his new friend zep who has been kidnapped by the devil moles to save him rover is forced into an uneasy truth with fub his one-time rival can fub be trusted to help get zep back discover the peculiar and dangerous things waiting in the deep in this charming and addictive series right and i found it sort of sad that there was only two issues of this comic book put out right because uh 
it had huge potential it had huge potential okay so this is volume number one issue number two of rover that came out in 2003 by michael foran published by monkey monkey suit press monkey suit press is pat giles michael foran chris mclock uh, miguel uh, martinez joffren uh, prentice rollins special thanks go out to my beautiful wife sarah sarah michael and Sha shannon cobb enrico Cas casarosa bill pressing nick de, de mayo the mayo mom and dad ellen wood and the fine crew at noodles noodle soup productions copyright 2003 michael foran no part of this book may be reproduced without the expressed and written permission of michael foran except for small excerpts for purposes of review any similarity between characters persons or institutions in rover and those of any person living or dead is purely coincidental and unintentional first printing november 2003 send inquiries and correspondence to monkey suit press one 170 west n avenue suite 30d new york new york 10023 letters to michael foran or a rover become the property of michael foran or are assumed intended for publication in whole or in part and may therefore be used for those purposes okay as far as the the copyright thing here i think these guys would be super cool with us doing this reading uh giving them a little bit of exposure right and appreciating their their efforts for putting out a fantastic comic book that as a comic book collector goes for me uh, i was ex very very pleasantly surprised with right so we're going to go quiet this is a silent comic book and we're just going to appreciate the artwork and the storytelling okay okay i hope you like
I thought that was a fun read. I thought that was... It's cute. It was very cute. I should, th these characters had huge potential, like the way the storytelling was going. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, the series only had two issues, and I don't think they've appeared again. Uh, but nice artwork. Here is Rover number one. Right. And you can pick these up on the cheap. Uh, premiere issue. Right. So I might try to track this down. And, uh, just get one and two together. Uh, and you can buy it on um, eBay fairly easily and inexpensive. In Search of Monkey Suit. And this is the graphic novel they put out. I think the first story that they put out. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Uh, just to read these guys. Just uh, the reviews. The pages are tri triumphs of comic formats. format. The complex structure makes reading worthwhile. The more so because it's more complicated to describe than it is to read and understand. In practice, it works beautifully to flesh out the world. Jonathan Draper Carson comics worth reading. Not many cartoonists can tell a compelling story without words, but F Foran does it cleverly and with great deal of personality. Chris L. Ekman, Ninth Art. Rover is so far in a class with only a few other comics accessible to accessible to and enjoyable from um, for beginning readers and not english speakers um, this is a comic field too little explored the mime tale accessible to readers of all ages a promising adventure uh, comic buyer's guide i agree it was a promising adventure and this thing really reminded me of bone um, jeff smith bone uh, I, I really don't like doing the comparison in that sense, but uh, the monsters especially. Okay, so I thought that was super cool. Super cool. Uh, glad to have this. Wouldn't have had it uh, if it wasn't for uh, the comic book store uh, dumping, uh, you know, getting rid of thousands of comics for like 25 cents a pop. Right? Now, the next comic book we're going to read is lum number one and this is lum number two and again i picked up uh, these comic books for uh 25 cents a pop but what i need to do right now is i need to do a little pit stop so i'm going to leave these guys up here and i'll be back in two minutes gang okay i'll be back in two minutes i'm going to turn on the chat so if anybody is uh wanted to have a conversation that's a welcome but i'll be right back okay i'm also going to check on via to see what he wants
<laughs> I can't. <laughs> Veal want a little bit of cuddles, uh, but uh, I just gave him liver instead. Uh, so let me turn off the chats. Dance. Let's do a reading of this. Okay. And I'm going to do a little intro again. Because we're going to cut this up uh, straight up. X, how are you doing? Long time. Long time. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. We're doing a live stream right now and we ended up reading a silent comic book from 2003. Silent issue, no words. Rover number two. And for our second reading today, we're going to read Lum number one, a manga. Uh, people have been asking me about, you know, if I read any manga and stuff like this. And I do, I have read some and I do read some when I can get my hands on them. And uh, these are two comic books uh, that I picked up. This is issue number one, issue number two. I picked up from a local comic book uh, shop that was selling uh, a few thousand comic books few tens of thousands of comic books for 25 cents a pop i believe uh, he mentioned that he sold like 30,000 comic books or something like this 30,000 or 20,000 comic books uh, something ridiculous and i ended up buying a few hundred of them and these are comic books that i picked up for 25 cents canadian each which is like 17 cents us <laughs> some of them bagged and boarded these are i bagged and boarded these myself um, so I've been making my way through those few hundred comic books and um, this one I thought was a very cute read very cute read and the work is by Rumiko Takahashi okay and this came out in 1989 and as of right now anyway uh, Rumika is the most popular uh, manga artist in Japan and the wealthiest manga artist in Japan. She made her fame by uh, Ramana Half, uh, Mermaid's Tales, uh, the sort of chronicles, I guess. And this series here, Urusi Yatsura, from what what I what I believe that's. Uh, that's the series that really uh, put her on the map and I think this series came out in the late 70s 1978 or something like this and the character here Lum I'm not sure how you pronounce this Lum or Loom I believe it's Lum Lum is the main character from this title um, and from just a little bit I read just before we got on uh, according to Rumiko the main character is supposed to be this guy and based on issue number one the main character is this guy okay but i haven't read any yusuru yatusura uh manga so i don't know uh that too much about this series i've just read these two issues with this character in it okay um so it's uh it's cute it's cute and now i just posted chapter one young love on the run september 24th 1978 so 1978 and this was a very cute read very cute read and i've read issue number two as well and it is also very cute so i thought uh we'd stick to the cute theme for today and go light and have a read through this and we'll probably end up doing more manga uh readings in the future i have uh, i pulled out a few i do uh, have more manga from her as well but uh i couldn't i couldn't dig them up i couldn't find them in my boxes i found some other manga but uh that i've read that are really good and i have one series that i'm gonna start reading uh like i got 10 issues of it or so so i'm looking forward to that as well uh el got saying i have that issue purchased in, in hong kong 1983 oh what awesome awesome so let's crack this open it was a really cute read this thing and i read this uh, just a few days ago 
And uh, as soon as I read it, I was like, okay, yeah, we got to do a reading of this. Okay, we got to do a reading of this. And there's a little biography of the artist uh, at the back of this. So we're going to read the biography first. And I again, I picked this up for 25 cents. <laughs> and it's, it's like very fine plus near min minus condition, right? Uh, originally when it came out, in 1989 it's like four bucks you can't you put inflation in this i basically picked this up for two cents in 1989 prices and it's from wiz comics uh wiz was amazing in uh, uh reprinting a lot of the um manga from japan in english format okay and as far as the artist for the school says beautiful artwork very clean very sharp very pretty artwork right and here's the write-up and there's two stories there's two stories in this i think we're just going to read the one uh story the the main one but here's the write-up for the artist and that's incredible seeing her image like when she looks so young and if you look it up now she's like oh i forget how old she is she's like 60 70s uh 60 70 years old and this is her at that time right so super cute, super cute, right? Rumiko Tagahashi. Okay. Rumiko Tagahashi was born in 1957 in uh, Niigata, Japan. She attended a women's college in Tokyo where she began studying comics with uh, Kazuo Ko Koki, the writer of Lone Wolf and Cub. In 1978, she won a prize in uh, Shaga, Shagahakan's annual new comic artist contest and in that same year her lum uh, and lum uh, Astrid uh, Yurusi Yatusara Sara began appearing in the weekly manga magazine Shonen Sunday this phenomenal this phenomenally successful series ran for nine years tagushi is currently the most popular comic writer artist in japan her other titles include mason uh iku 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 uh ran ma half and one pound gospel i read some of ran ma half right i like it, it, they were enjoyable reads but I like this character a lot more. I thought this had a lot more fun feel to it. Okay. And she does have darker stuff. For example, I have, um, I found one copy of Mermaid's Mask. And I read through this and it's very dark. This one It's the same. It's her doing it as well. Right. So keep this in mind, even though this is a very cute series and stuff like this, she has done darker work as well i'm not sure what year this came out at this would have been is Wiz, so it must have been late 80s uh, mid 1995 right mid 1995 and this one is dark like like pretty dark like how dark there's a lady here cutting off her own face okay <laughs> like pretty dark pretty dark uh, but fantastic this was a great read by the way i i actually don't have i don't, I don't think i've ed, read any other mermaids mask um so i wouldn't mind getting my hands on some of these okay uh, japanese horror is phenomenal phenomenal right but since we're staying with cute let's read lum number one okay uh reprinting by viz select comics original series um manga and i i don't know if this story came out in uh, the late 70s or early 80s so i'm not sure uh when lum uh came out okay and again it's by rumiko takahashi right monthly comic book 295 us four dollars canadian picked up by chicho last year or a year and a half ago for 25 cents canadian 
Very nice, very nice. Beautiful, clean artwork. Beautiful, clean. Lamb, Yurisi Yatsura. <laughs> A cute series. Very cute series. Right? Issue number one by Romiko Takahashi. Let's read the fine print again. And we're going to read uh, just part one because the part two is uh, not really connected to uh alum the main character right so part one a good catch part two poor little devil and poor little devil is a cute story too okay so let me put that i don't need this because it's a hard story and art by rumiko takahashi original japanese version editor-in-chief uh yono Suku Konishi Shogun Kakan Inc. Executive Editor Katsura Katsuya Shiri, Shirai. Uh, again, Shogun Kukan Inc. <laughs> Apologies for brutal translation. English version. Translation Gerald Jones and Satoru Fuji. Touch up art and lettering Lee Hernandez cover design liz gra uh, with viz graphics editors stephanie m flower and john tagashi executive editor seji oribachi publisher masario ogo rumiko takahashi shogun shoga kahan inc 1989 First published in Shoga Khan Inc. in Japan. LUM is a trademark of Viz Communications Incorporated. All rights reserved. No unauthorized reproduction allowed. The stories, characters, and incidents mentioned in this publication are entirely fictional. Printed in the USA. Published by Viz Comics. PO Box 77010, San Francisco, California. 94107. Part one, a good catch. Wap! I hate you. <laughs> He's like, what? I've had it with you. Shinobu, Shinobu. Oh, she's running away. He's like, oh no. Now, why'd she have to do that? I only looked at that other girl for a second. He's thinking. Wait, wait, don't do it, huh? Don't do anything foolish. Thump, 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 thump. The old man says, runs towards him. Wow, yeah. Knocks him off the bridge. Lush falls into the water. I I was too late. What the hell did you do that for? He screams. A splish. Soaked in the water. Oh, come now. Don't try to tell me you weren't about to jump, the old man says. You think I'm gonna kill myself? Just because my chick dumped me? Oh, he's like, what? Drying his clothes. 
but I saw the shadow of death on your back. That's why I ran to save you and knocked me off the bridge. Well, thanks. You've made my day complete. He tells the old man, no, please, you mustn't go that way. The old man says, something evil will happen to you. I have to go this way to get home, he says. He's pissed off. Your, your face, it's horrible. Uh, what? I only meant that I can see an ominous shadow on your face. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place, he says. You look as though you're haunted by an evil spirit. Evil spirit? Come on, man. Evil spirits are about as real as, as demons or aliens, he says. Oh, there's a ruckus. Oh. What's going on? All those people around my house? Look, Mr. Moroboshi's son. He's back. Who? That kid? They say. Are you Aturo? Aturo? Uh, Morobashi? What are your feelings about this? They're asking him. what what are you talking about you mean you haven't heard you happen to be the focus of world attention right now Aturo his mom runs through the crowd mom what's the matter what happened he asks come with me and you'll find out she says Aturu, you're back. Oh, Aturu. Shinobi, what are you doing here? That's the girl that dumped them. What? I heard about it on the news. I was, I was so worried about you. I couldn't stay away, she says. Hurry, kid. You've got to, you've got to go meet him. Somebody, somebody's here to see me, he asks. Oh, please, Aturu, be calm, the mother yells. What are you screaming about? What's going on here? Who the hell is? Yo! Welcome home. Welcome home, this gigantic person says. Yo! <laughs> Look the girl in the back. <laughs> like what the <laughs> uh, The expressions in this uh, the artwork is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, fun. Wait. I get it. Trick or treat. Trick or treat? Okay, here, candy, candy. No, no, young man. I am truly an alien. An alien? What's an alien doing here? Now, now, do calm down, he says. Rumble thunder. Crack. Alien spaceship appears. It's the alien mothership, the people yell. Zap. Oh, what's going on? S 
my God, the people say. What's this? What's this? Right? What? What do you mean I have to compete with an alien? He's getting the lowdown right now. They're planning an invasion of Earth, but they've offered us one way out. We choose one human at random by computer. Should he defeat us in competition, we shall quiet, quietly withdraw. You don't mean, you don't mean you picked me. Alas, we did the alien says. See, what did I tell you? Haunted by an evil spirit, the old man says. Smear me the I told you so. He says. Aturu, you can't fight this alien. You'll be killed. His girlfriend that just dumped them says. You heard her, monster. So beat it. We would we would prefer to beat you, the alien says. You wouldn't beat me at anything, fat stuff. You couldn't beat me at anything, fat stuff, he says. Maybe not, but he isn't the one you will be playing tag against. The person that was zapped down. The girl shows up. What? Tag? People are asking. So, you are my competition, she says. Huh? What? My name is Lum, she says. I'm, I'm, I'm going to play tag with her, she asks. You are, the alien says. <laughs> he gets all excited. You shall play for 10 days. If during that time you tag one of one of my daughter's horns, you will be the winner. But to tag her horn, he, he I've got to grab hold of her body. <laughs> Look at his face. The girlfriend's like, Aturu. He's all excited. I may I may not not be so easy to catch Lum says forget it baby nothing's gonna keep me from getting a hold of you <laughs> he says excitedly look at the girlfriend's face what she is pissed animal just walks out on him ow 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 I'm assuming he got smacked again Right. Oh, look at that. He's got scratches on his face. He got slapped on both sides. Mr. Moroboshi, you've been chosen for a task of utmost importance. Do you have any comment? The whole earth depends on this. I've got no choice but to do it, he says. all excited back home at night allow me to introduce myself I'm Sherry a wandering monk Sherry isn't that an unusual name for a monk the father asks 
I choose it in honor of the monast monastic life. It looks soft and sweet from the outside, but once you get into it, it's the pits, the monk says. Arg, did you come here just to tell that stupid joke? He asks. Aturo, please. Sherry, you were saying something about Aturo's face. Are the signs really that ominous? Yes, the monk says. At first glance, he's an ordinary young man, but he's haunted by a tragic fate. You're his parents. Can you think why this would be? Well, I, the father's thinking. Wasn't Atura born on Friday the 13th, dear, the mother says? That's right, under a full moon too, the father says. And a black cat startled me on the way to the hospital, into the hospital, the mother says. So you ducked under that step ladder, the father replies, where I bumped into uh, the food cart and spilt the salt, the mother says, and the cart rolled right into a mirror and enough already, Aturo yells. What is this insanity? And now, at last, the game of tag upon which the future of the earth depends is about to begin. Let's check in with our color uh, commentator, Mr. Yamada, and observation. Any observations? This is serious. <laughs> the, the fish guy. <laughs> and, the, and the bull says... Look at this. The whole world is watching TV. The entire world is watching this event live via satellite. There is Lama. And there's Aturu. And there's a black cat. Uh -huh. Hmm. If I win, I'll be a big hero. Maybe my luck will finally change, he says. And he's wearing number 13. Wearing number 13 with a black cat crossing them. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? On your mark, get set. And he's behind just a little bit, right? And Lama's just standing there. Right. Bang! Yay! And the race starts. Oh, let's get a focus on is blurry because he's running so fast <laughs> bang yay he's going for it he's going for it what lum isn't running ha i've got you aturo says lum is just big smiles and woo there she goes Ooh, left in the dust right she's flying she knows how to fly what? Uh oh, our heroes in big trouble. Troubled. <laughs> Look at all the people. Zush. Come and get me, she says. Top. Hey, wait a minute. He yells. What's going on here? going on here? you cheated you didn't tell me you could fly he's pissed invaders go home the sign in the back <laughs> you just didn't do your homework lum says keep going morobashi the fate of the earth is is on your shoulders. Oh, oh, eh, le crayon. 
international broadcasters. That's French, I guess. Mu gu gai pan dim sum chow mein. That's gotta be. That's not even. I don't think that would go over well in present day. <laughs> and near miss that time. Il, il est sur la table. Lo fa ciao. <laughs> you can't catch her. Oh no. Look at her go. Again, just a second late. La portez moi, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> you chu gum tu. <laughs> All useless, useless. It's written all over his face. He's doomed to fail, the monk says. Sunset has come. The first day's competition is over. And Aturu Mor Morabashi fell short. Let's all hope for better luck tomorrow. Stay tuned for our post-game show. The second day, bang, the race is on. Vroom, he's chasing her. They're following him in a truck. Aturo, remember, you're a hero if you win, the mother yells. It's impossible, look at his face, the monk says. Would you please shut up, he yells at them. The third day. Oh, you call that running? People are trash talking up. What's that bum doing out there? She's flying, he's chasing. So, Moro Bashi, you came up short again today, right? Right? How are you going to live with yourself if you lose? Do you think you have any chance at all? The reporters are all asking. The competition is now half completed. Earth is as good as ours, the alien says. Ha 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 ha. Look at the size of the microphone. Love is grinning, making Papa proud. If they take over, you'll be hated and uh, reviled, re reviled for the rest of your life, the father says. Oh, why did I ever give birth to you the mother says shut up shut up he screams i was too reckless he says now I feel like the whole world is getting heavier and heavier. He's all sad. Aturu, you have a visitor. If it's a reporter, I don't want to see him, he says. Hello, Aturu, this is girlfriend, Shinobi. I, Cherry, have come to <laughs> the monk says. You, get the hell out of here yells at him Aturu can you win oh I don't ask he says I was a fool I didn't expect her to be able to fly it's your own fault she says you didn't think you took one look at that that girl and played right into their hands she says you're right and enemies an enemy is an enemy, even if she's a babe, he replies. Yes, it's your own fault, the monk says. How come, how come she, uh, how come she can say it and I can't? He <laughs> bunked them on the head <laughs> with the weight. <laughs> He's pissed.
Funny, funny. Now, as the eighth day of competition draws to a close, both con contestants are showing signs of fatigue. Look at him go, he's still chasing her. She's like, whew, the guy's relentless. <laughs> Hiya, doink. Yay, he grabs her. Glump. All right, hey, everyone's cheering. He caught her, he caught her. Look at this, everyone's all happy. He did it, he did it. He grabbed her, uh, but I think he grabbed her in the wrong place. He was supposed to grab the horn. <laughs> yeah. Let go, you pervert. Smack, pop, rip. What? <laughs> right. Smacks him so hard. But take a look at what's going on her top uh oh Thump. he falls backwards and has her top in his hand uh oh uh oh uh oh there's the mothership oh that was close painfully close but Lum is returning to her ship Still untied. No. He's sitting on the ground. But he's got her top. Right. No, 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 no. He almost had it. Look at this. He's got tears in his eyes. Moroboshi is crying, weeping into the garment Lum left, left in his hands appointment scene a heartbreaking scene but hang in there Aturu Morobashi don't let it break you you still have tomorrow this concludes another live broadcast and there he is crying into the sunset back at home 21 22 woof oh he lost his concentration how long have you been there he asks that's lum sitting there in our, on his windowsill give it back to me she says why what do you mean why what do you mean he asks what you stripped off me give it back she demands he pulls it out of his shirt oh do you mean this you were wearing it Zoosh. pulls it out you want it come and get it we only play tag from morning to sunset she reminds him He's got his tongue out. <laughs> Cute. You came to get it back, didn't you? He says. All right then. She's going for it. She's going for it. Thump. Bam. He certainly is training hard, the father says. He's even training his voice. Yay! <laughs> and by the way, gang, that's me putting a little sticky on there because there's a little bit of anime or manga, a little bit of flesh showing, so I didn't want uh, any problems for the live stream that we're doing on uh, twitch there's like three or four places that i had to put this on uh, it's unfortunate because it's, it's cute give it back he's got it in his tongue she's pulling on him give it back give it back never he says safe sticker 
never, he says. He's not going to do it. Ha, 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 People are laughing. Ay, she's covering up again, right? It's the little bit of skin showing. It's part of the story, right? Part of the story. So he has to, she has to let go of him and cover herself up, right? Ah, oh, look at that. All the watchers, all the watchers. Right. Big smiles on their faces. You'll pay for this, clunk. Smacks him again. Poor kid, he's getting hit left and right. She flies away. So she must not have a spare. Looks like the luck is turning in my favor, he thinks. Nice, nice, nice. You have to do it. Everyone's yelling at him. Ra 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 ra. Look at the smile on his face. He's so confident, right? So confident. Let's focus on his smile. There he is. Look at him. He's all like, yes. Yes. Morobashi seems to be in high spirits. No doubt the fact that he tore off Lum's ur, that is, the fact that he was about to catch her for a moment has given him new confidence. Well, shall we try my luck? He asks. <laughs> she says. Bang! And the gun goes off and the chase is on there she goes running off and he's chasing her right boink oh almost she jumps out of the way right just like i thought she's afraid to move her arms and that cuts her jumping ability in half so bonk I, uh, he jumps at her. Victory is mine. Boink. Ah, glump. Zaps her. Yeah. Smacking him on top of the head. She's pissed. Right. She's pissed. I'll kill you, she says. Stop. Hold it, he says. He's like, look at that. He's like entangled in her. Ba wang. And pow. Kicks him in the face. Never underestimate a woman. Yeah, pow. For wham, he falls right, huh? Unconscious, and he only fell three feet. She says, Stretcher, bring a stretcher. Was yelling, Shoo, shoo. What do you think? You're doing, you clown. Boo, hiss, hiss, boo, boo, hiss. You've only got one day left. What's going to happen to the earth? Everyone's asking. Those selfish jerks. All they have to do is watch, he thinks. Right. Aturo, your friends have come to cheer you up. He's back at home. Get a grip on yourself. You only have one more day, they say. One more day, he says. In one more day, Earth will be invaded, and I'll spend the rest of my life as an outcast, he says. How can you say a thing like that, his friends reply. How can I beat somebody like Lum, he yells. This is all because of politics. Just lousy, rotten politics. Rip, 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 rip. He's spazzing out. Right? Uh, 
as Prime Minister, I promise that a victory will make Mr. Moroboshi a national hero. I shall personally present him with the Imperial Medal of Honor, he says. VIP. My God, he's losing it fast. It's the government's fault. <laughs> he's freaking out. Cr scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> he's crawling on the walls, scraping the walls. If we don't snap him out of this, the earth is finished. But what can we do? They ask. The girlfriend's there. I, I, Aturu, if you win, I'll marry you. Ah, oh, thump, scratch. He's still spazzing out. Look at that. marry me you're lying you're lying just so you can survive he said scratch no you fool i'm not lying she says i can't stand the thought of you being an outcast for the rest of your life is that the truth is it he says then i'll win tomorrow no matter what he's got his motivation his friends woman are so inspiring and Oturo is so stupid <laughs> it's the final day and and Moroboshi is coming on stronger than ever he has lum on the defensive lums flying away ra 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 for marriage he says <laughs> yells it out that's his battle cry yeah rah, 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 rah. look at all those people cheering him on he's happy for shinobu for marriage for shinobu sees her I'll do anything to marry her, even dirty tricks. F vip, vip, whip, whips out uh, her top, Lum's top. Look at that, look at that. Hey, Lum, look what I've got. Oh, she's angry now. She's angry now. Look at that. Look at that. She's pissed. Give it back to me, she says. Come on, a little closer. A little closer. Right. Glum. Lum's got a hold of it. He's got a hold of it. She fell for it. And will whips her around. Wham. I will marry her, he says. and gotcha touches the horns right. he wins on the 10th day last minute right. he's done it he's done it atoru moroboshi has saved earth Yay, Aturu! Woo! Everyone's cheering. Happy, happy. Aturu, Aturu. There's his girlfriend running through the crowd. Everyone's running there. Right. Congratulations, Mr. Moroboshi. The whole world con congratulates you. He 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 he. Now I can finally marry her. <laughs> Look at her. Why, Aturu, I never, but if you want me that much, then yes, I'll marry you, Lum says. What? 
What? Mr. Moroboshi, you mean you'll marry Lum? Wow, I was excited. So that's why you yelled for marriage during the competition. No, he replies, no. She's all happy. Right. Shinobu, huh? She's like, what's going on here? I don't remember the rules saying you had to hold her that long, she says. Well, don't let me stand in the way of a happy marriage. She's pissed. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> no, you can't walk out on me after all this. He's trying to go after her. Save it for your fiancé, she says or everybody else says or she's you yeah, know the girlfriend says right save it for your fiance let us go home daughter we have lost the alien father comes down shinobu wait he proposed to me the daughter says if you wish to marry her you will have to come to our planet the alien father says, what? I'll get you your own set of horns, darling. Oh, no. What a mess. What a mess. What? Aturu, you be sure to come home <laughs> for the holidays, the mom says. He will be a marvelous son-in-law, the alien father says. You see, it's fate, 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 the monk says. Don't leave me. Oh, look at her. She's going away. What a perfect happy ending, the crowd says. Listen to him. He's only known her for 10 days and already he can't live without her. Poor guy. Everybody's confused. And that's the end of part one, right? And there's Lum. Super cool. Super cool. And this story is really good too. Poor little devil. Uh, but we won't read this one, right? And the story continues in issue number two right i haven't gone through this to see if there's any places i would have to put a little sticky censorship thing but it continues from there right and he's walking with lum right cute cute And there's two parts in this as well part one and part two rain drops keep falling on my head right loan number two is there any problems here no there's no problems here <laughs> right is there any problems here let me make sure there's no no there isn't so it just continues from there the story super fun read super fun read uh, and again amazing creator amazing creator right fantastic read fantastic read super fun super fun so that's alum number one uh urusi yatusura right reprinting of 1978 comic uh from japanese to english and this came out in 1989 right. bye Rumika, Rumiko Takahashi. Fantastic read. I'm going to turn on the chat again. Doing notifications and turn on my video. Fun read. Yeah? I noticed uh, Andromeda, you came in. I couldn't read your comments really because it, it, it would have thrown me off. Uh, uh, Andromeda says, Yurusi. Yatsura, I own all that manga. You own the whole thing. 
the whole series. This manga is so good. One of my favorites. I, I've read a fair bit of, not a fair bit, I, I've read, read some manga. This was fun. It was just enjoyable to read. It, it was it was innocent. It was cute. Uh, it had punchlines. It had little details in there. Right? V.I. agrees. <laughs> I used to watch the 1980s TV series back when I was a kid. I've never seen it. Andromeda, they actually retranslated most of this part when they re released the manga in 2019. Very cool. That's the part with the commentators, different languages. Yeah. I got into this manga, Andromeda. I got into this manga back in 2019 when uh, they redid it. I own all 34 <laughs> volumes. There's 34 volumes of this. Awesome. It's one of the few manga I generally find hilarious. Yeah, really, I found this super funny. Super funny. Oh, God. Uh, I need to return to manga. Love reading, watching between uh, 1989 to 1999. 1983 to 1999. And drama, I collect a lot of manga, even a lot of modern stuff. But I do really love old manga from 1990s and 80s. Cool, cool, cool. And gang, do not forget, do not forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publishing journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately need in our societies. Right. Safe stickers. He <laughs> he stickers. So the strange thing about the redone version is unflipped unflipped what's that mean and it's about 380 pages or so because it's two volumes of manga compiled into one so did they print all of it crazy bro Athens how are you doing hi everybody hope all are you all doing fine indeed indeed is that not Lamo cartoon it is yeah 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 same I, I i believe they called her Lamo in english french greek and a few other languages and kept it as lum in italian and japanese and a couple other languages aturu clutched up so horny aturu 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 chanting bar face <laughs> andromeda i love all the misunderstanding in this series He's fucking like is so bad, so bad. Oh the god, bring back memories, bring back memories. Crazy Brothers, there are cartoon movies of it. Saw it on French Channel about more than twenty years ago. Cool. I've never seen. I've never seen. Oh the god, can we have some un uh some unredacted, ungilded please? Uh, uh the pages? Oh, on Gilded, we can do whatever we want. <laughs> oh, the god, this is not Gilded, right? If you guys have, print them up, print them up. <laughs> Andromeda, yeah, they re reprinted the entire series unflipped. Oh, this way, this way. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So it reads like a typical manga, very cool. I can post a picture of all of the volumes and the general chat in the gilded server yeah yeah and joe and joe to post it in our uh, uh comics or anime folder instead of the general one po post it in the comic books in light topics on the comics or comic books um i post it in there i'd like to see it so unflipped is really good i've read some manga as well unflipped going from this way and it's pretty cool and uh, just so you know uh, farsi in iran that's the way it's done as well so when i first came to canada i had to learn to go this way because i was used to going this way it was it took a little bit of doing oh god julian saw supporters protest outside ag merrick garland's home in maryland very cool very live news very cool very cool maybe i'm gonna go check it out again let's call the stream we did uh we did uh, a couple hours we didn't go too uh, overtime, so that's cool. We did it uh, in the allotted time we had. Uh, so thanks for being here, gang. Gang, if you don't know what this work is about, we're on Patreon, Substack, Subscribe Star. We have a gilded server. We're live streaming on Rumble and Twitch. Rumble and Twitch. 
and this live stream the readings anyway no you know what we'll load up the full live stream and I'll cut out each individual live stream will be loaded on uh, entirety on sensor to picture rumble and Odyssey okay we do have a SoundCloud page uh, for some podcasts that we upload we were on Twitter minds VK Gap, substack notes and getter you can definitely follow the work there as well and gang tomorrow I forget what time we're doing our liqueur stream but uh, tomorrow we're doing a another live stream from from let me find it let me find it do, 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 do. we are we are tomorrow we're doing liqueur from uh, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. to around 4 p.m. I'll see what I can do uh, to set it up uh, um, I still haven't figured out where we're gonna do it I gotta move all the they're over here all the liqueur jars and we need to do a cleaning I might get rid of some consolidate some and stuff like this so basically we're gonna do a liqueur cleaning stream okay aside from that gang thank you for being here I hope you enjoyed the readings I did fantastic I'll have to go and take out the stickers on this because I don't want them to be in there right gang I hope you have a fantastic night elder God thank you for being here with drinking yeah I'm gonna be sampling I'm gonna be sampling <laughs> it is what it is oh my god salute brother salute thanks for sharing have a good one you too and andromeda thank you very much uh for the feedback and the info regarding the manga and uh if you do decide to uh post the pictures on gilded i need that i need to detect it <laughs> yeah i have a fantastic night we'll talk tomorrow bye everyone